Okay, so I've got the um, the desalator membranes reassembled in the chassis. Everything's actually all hooked up. Um, the high pressure feed, the, you know, the two salt water lines here and the fresh water uh, manifold with those gray fittings. Um, and I've tested it, it works, there are no leaks and uh, it's making good water. But this is the second time that I had to reassemble everything um, because the uh, interconnectors, there's one right here and there's one right here because the water, it's the high pressure feed, right, enters here and it, these tubes are in series and it travels like this. So the interconnector, right, just connects the two membranes or the three membranes rather. Um, and this one, um, the interconnector is a male to male fitting and there's two O-rings on each end. So a total of four O-rings per interconnector. Um, and it's, some of the O-rings had fractured or were damaged upon, at some point, disassembly, I think. Um, and so this was leaking uh, when I first assembled it. And, you know, in retrospect, I would, before starting this job, I, I would get uh, and I have two spare interconnectors. So you had two new ones with the factory, you know, spec O-rings. And I'm going to order those, um, you know, and monitor this to see if it, because I put it together with a, an aftermarket O-ring that I got at the local auto parts store. And I'll share with you the size of that in just a moment. But, um, you know, I'll monitor it to see, you know, how it holds up. Um, but I want those interconnectors, the, the proper piece. So if there is an issue, I'll take it apart again and put those in and then we'll be done for sure. I just don't have access to it right now. And I want this thing up and running and don't want to have to wait for these parts. Um, so reassembled everything and, uh, you know, they, they recommend Loctite 542 uh, for the fittings. Um, I, would, I would leave that at least overnight. Um, and when I say I ran it and, and there were no leaks, um, I actually ran it and it was leaking out of these fittings because I was taking the thing on and off. There's no point in putting Loctite on it and then having to clean the threads. So there was no leaking at the interconnectors, but you know, the, um, the cone fittings, uh, you know, were leaking a little bit because there was no Loctite, but I'm not worried about that at all. Um, and I also subsequently found out, you know, I did, you know, I looked into it a little more and if it, on DeSalter's website, there's a part number and I'll put that in the description down below. Um, where they sell a bag full of these gray fittings. Um, and I've put the, the part numbers for those down there too. But, um, um, so I'm going to order two interconnectors and a bag of the, you know, the miscellaneous gray fittings and just have those in the, you know, the, the, uh, the spare parts kit for the water maker. Now the O-ring I used, um, this is just a little kit from the, the auto parts store. The one that's in red there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to tilt too much off O-rings all over the engine room, but, uh, it's 5 16 ID by 7 16 OD by 1 16 inch width. Um, and those are these. Oh, no, those are, yeah, those are these right here. Um, and they work, they work great. They're a little thin. They don't fill the, the uh, um, uh, what would you call that? The, you know, uh, I don't know how the word escapes me at the moment. But anyway, um, but they're, the clearance is, is seems real correct. I mean, you know it, because I was trying other O-rings and you push it together and you can feel it's a little tough. And then when you pull it apart, you've torn the O-ring. And these went in, you know, I put a little olive oil on there, but they went in and it just felt snug. And I thought, I had a feeling like, yeah, I think that's gonna work just fine. And it did. So, so far so good. Um, that's it. Have fun working on your water maker.